What am I doing wrong in my life that I feel so lost and unhappy? I have a corporate job and I hate it. Threatening to kill us. I need to get out of there and I need to restart my life. You might be wondering what's going on here or more probably you're wondering who the hell is she and why is she talking to me you clicked on this video so that's why i'm talking to you and <laughs> who am i i'm cora i'm 31 and i'm currently sitting on the floor of an empty apartment my whole life around me in the boxes and I'm wondering how did I end up here? What am I doing wrong in my life that I feel so lost and unhappy? And I guess if you feel the same or maybe you just like to watch people suffer, you can follow me along on this journey where I kind of try to restart my life at the age of 31. Where to better start? Then going over what's actually wrong with my life, or not necessarily wrong, but yeah, how did I end up here? And what are the parts of my life I would like to get better in, or to feel, let's say, at least more comfortable, more myself? Let's go through it. First thing is health. My diet is very unhealthy currently. I'm not exercising basically at all. Like, this whole move is the most exercise I've had in the past two years, I guess, or since COVID. And yeah, I feel just so out of shape. I can catch my breath after a flight of stairs. And at this point of my life, it's not that I just want to look good. <laughs> not that I don't want to look good, but it's not the main point for me anymore. Like, I want to be able to move when I'm 80 or 70 or something. I don't want to feel back pain all the time. Just the small things I, I want to enjoy. Movement in my life. And I know for that I need to exercise and also to support it, uh, you need to eat healthy. So I want to concentrate on this. Second point, living situation. There was quite a few things wrong with my previous apartment. It was like in a noisy place. We had this crazy neighbor who was threatening to kill us and so on and so forth. So I guess with the neighbor it's a story time for another video. Um, so stay tuned if you want to hear about it. I just didn't feel safe in that place even though it was like safe neighborhood, I didn't want to feel scared in my own apartment. So yeah, that's the next thing that, that made me move. And that's why I'm sitting here talking about point three, my cats. This is also connected to the, to the apartment, or at least I hope it, it was just this. I have three cats, they're all siblings. Uh, adopted from a shelter. We had a few situations and one of them was very severe of uh, redirected aggression. At one point I was even thinking like maybe I should give one of them away. I've been living with them for two years and now I should like decide who to put away. So I'm also hoping that the, this new apartment helps them to, to calm down and also for me to calm down because I get this they just could sense it, that I wasn't okay, so they weren't okay. So we'll see, uh, we're here for a week now, so far so good. Fourth point, my job. It might surprise you, but I have a corporate job and I hate it. I just hate it so much. I've never studied anything like useful you might say. I just found a job that didn't require any specific diploma and I hate it so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about it. At this moment I'm doing it for the money because you know I, I would like to keep the roof above my head. So we'll see. Maybe this thing will turn up into something. Who knows? 
And the final fifth point is my mental health. Like all of the points that I mentioned before, they are kind of adding up on top of other stuff that I wasn't really paying attention to before. It ended up like me sitting on the floor a week ago, crying my eyes out and I was thinking, what am I doing with my life? I was just so desperate and at the same time, I, I know that I'm very, very fortunate and very lucky in like the grand scheme of things. I have a roof above my head and it, it might seem like my problems aren't the most important, but in a way, like if you know what the mental health struggles are, you know that when you're in that low point, it just feels everything is falling on your head and you don't know what to do. So even though it, it might seem like not much for the mental state, it's a lot uh, for a person. I really acknowledge like the, the mental side of things is really important and it can really mess you up. If you uh, don't take care of your mental health, it all added up. And in my breakdown, I just decided I need to move, I need to get out of there and I need to restart my life. But I'm not naive. I know that there's serious work I need to do to feel better in my life. It's not just moving, it won't solve anything basically. But I hope it will get me, get me let's say, kickstart. So that's why I'm filming this. Maybe it will help just me. Maybe it can also help someone out there because I feel like there's a lot of people in their 30s that they just don't know what to do with their lives and yeah, let's figure it out together, I guess so that's it for this video if there's anything you find likable about this video please hit that like button, subscribe, share this video whatever, you know what to do see you in my next one, bye!